Van Gogh's Iris Sis, a thousand pieces by Palm Grenade. As you can see from the image on the cover, this is a quite challenging puzzle. So many colors, all well, all over the place. So with no clear pattern, no clear dramatical shapes, no single area where you have the blue is here and the green is there, but all mixed together. Sure, some general ideas. This is the area that is easiest, of course, to identify. You have that light green up there, but again, it's all mixed up. I wanted the challenge, so I'm very happy that I got this puzzle. And it took me a while to complete it, but I did it. Totally doable. Challenging, which is, well, what I was hoping for. I wasn't deceived by the puzzle. When you start a puzzle like this, it's because you are a fairly experienced puzzler. Or you have a lot of patience but in any case it is going to be a challenge i consider myself fairly experienced and again pretty challenging that's what i wanted so i'm happy very nice puzzle i did the edges of course first then uh, i did this part here and that part also wasn't too tough and then I got stuck and I got stuck I didn't know what to do next I pretty much looked for every green piece that did not have any blue in it and so I was able to do a band of greenish things here and here and then again I was stuck again because it was all a big bunch of like a blob of green and blue I mean I could even see that some pieces had the like light green there but as you can see it's all over the place and if you have a piece which is light green and goes there there isn't really much that you can do it's almost like a chicken and egg kind of thing you need to really do the light green to be able to place the blue flowers uh, but then you need to do the blue flowers to be able to do the light greens and so it was really tough so ultimately after I did this thin band here I sorted all of the blue pieces by shape and there you go and then patiently patiently I was able to put it all together incidentally that area that looked like was gonna be like the third or the second I would do was the last one that I completed it turned out to be the most challenge at least here when you are working on the blue parts they're pretty solid there they're all scattered pretty tough uh, I mod podged it already because I love what it looks like uh, it's gonna be framed it's gonna go on the wall because the final result is to me stunning it has to be one of the most beautiful artistically attractive and accomplished puzzles that I solved but well it was a challenge however the production of the puzzle at least really worked for me pomegranate is a great company they have such good production values their pieces are are thick uh, the colors are very nice as you can see and the, the fit is very tight so when I have to move pieces around I could grab a patch of like five six ten and move it around easily it's not the same for other companies I'm working on a large castle land puzzle puzzle right now and when you have to move two pieces you have to hold both because one will come with you and one will stay behind really annoying now with prom grenade, you never had the problem with palm grenade. As for the cut, the cuts you have a regular grid, so you don't have those crazy shaped puzzles, uh, pieces. So you can sort by shape, but really, if I couldn't do that, I don't know how I would be able to do it. But as you can see, there is variety. Some pieces have four things sticking out, and so... Although, again, it's that grid, regular grid, in which all corners touch, you have variety of pieces, so you can sort by shape, and that is of great help. In any case, well, since you're so close, you can see the cut. This way you also get a look at the level of detail, the level of beauty of this work. Really, if I were to teach a class about art, I think I would have my students solve puzzles about, about uh, masterpieces. Because really, I, I studied art, art in college, and I never really got such a deep, complete appreciation for works of art up to a single brushstroke until I started solving jigsaw puzzles about those same works. Look at this, look at this, how many colors you have. Just a nice work of art. 
I know there are other puzzles based on Van Gogh's work. That depressing bedroom. I don't. I don't know what people are so excited about that one. Just looks like the room I had in college. So why would I want to do a puzzle about that? Story night. It's really nice. But frankly, of all the puzzles based on Van Gogh that are out there, to me, this is the most impressive. Beautiful, colorful, slightly disturbing, slightly crazy because we know it's Van Gogh, but also so deep, so magical. Such a such a deep intense atmosphere so very happy about this one van gogh's irises this is gonna go on the wall this is gonna be one of the prized jewels of my puzzle collection very happy that i have it i recommend it to anybody who loves art and loves a good challenge tough puzzle but i have to say this tough but fair since every piece fit only one position there was no frustration for having to redo things. Again, no frustration uh, for moving things around and pieces you already solved falling apart. Hard, but fair. Which really is something that I like very much in a puzzle.